guys, it's going to be a much quieter video, but welcome back to Battle Bay. This is the video where we are going to be testing out the epic mortar that we had gotten last episode. This thing right here, I've also attached two perks onto it. One is a plus 0.5% damage, the other one is a plus 2.5% damage. And let's see how it does in an actual battle. Even though I don't really have too much high hopes for it since I'm a terrible mortar user. So we are going to... Um, let's see, what is it? We are going to... Sub-Zero. Not the Mortal Kombat player, I think that's what his name is, but... Sub-Zero is in the place in this map, and yeah, I'm gonna stop now. <coughs> Still sick. So, here we got our mortar, and let's see how we do. I'm gonna go up this way and away from everyone else because this might be a much better mortar spot than other places. Just gonna sneak right on past right here. Gonna uh, take a quick break just in case anybody's coming up that ridge. And let's keep going. See if I can take the green circle without having to deal with anyone. But just in case of long range. Oh, we got somebody. Let's see how much damage we do. Absolutely nothing. We are taking out quite the damage right now. Let's see. Can we deal any damage at all? We did 99 damage with an epic mortar. <coughs> <coughs> you have to excuse that sickness. Um, so we'll go with... Let's see if we can do more damage with this mortar now. Maybe. I just narrowly dodged that torpedo right there. Let's see how much damage we can do with that. 42. Wow. This is pretty disappointing. Well, at least we got 350 with our railgun. And let's adjust this and put that there. How much damage do we do? I didn't get to see. Um, 148 with the normal cannon. Switch over to the railgun and see if I can deal some damage, and I'm dead. Well, that was shitty. <coughs> I think this is gonna be a more of a one sided battle. Yeah, pretty clearly. Um, I'd be surprised if we even got one of them. By the looks of it, we're probably not going to. Yeah. 
last time. I just got absolutely swarmed. So, let's. Obviously, I was gonna miss that because I never hit my target with a blast cannon. Man, that guy had some low ass health. <coughs> Dang. Okay. So, let's see if we can grab this guy too. Got to see what's us over here. Ooh, we got somebody over here. He's kind of out of reach. So let's head over this way and see. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can capture this and maybe hit that guy too. Let's see. No, he seems to be going the other way. Everybody else seems to be not anywhere in this area. They just seem to be outside the building. So let's see how this goes. Just gonna start capturing. See what happens. Oh, we got. No, it missed again. God dang it. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna stay right there. Doing all of this capturing on my own. Let's see if I can go around and get to him. And maybe see if I can deliver a finishing blow to this guy. Nope. Missed. <coughs> and there we go. Game over. So, with our blast cannon, we ended up doing a lot better than with our mortar. Not some bad results either. Did quite a bit of damage there. So we can claim that and since we got five out of the 18 we got a chest Let's see what this chest gives us Ooh, two big torpedoes And if we get eight out of 18 get another chest 12 out of 18 for the best chest um, Personally, I don't really use torpedoes much So I'm just gonna scrap this because it has projectile speed of 3.3 and the treble cannon has 3.7, which means it moves much faster. So we'll end up getting rid of this and the other one that we had gotten. It's also much harder to hit people with only one. And you know what? Let's upgrade our rail gun since it's our highest damage. But we'll try out the sniper for our next match, which will happen to be in the next episode. So let's upgrade our rail gun. From 360 to 376 damage. <coughs> <coughs> so that's it for this. So we'll see you next video. Just gonna check the chat real quick. Um, okay.